What's up, everyone? My name's Chris Marshall with my boy, Frank G. We are the hosts of Build Your Empire podcast. Frank G, tell the people what we do. What's going on, everybody? Chris and I, we discuss established empires while showcasing us building ours. I am so excited for our guest today. Heather Hopkins came on and she's blessing us with her presence. She is an entrepreneur. She has a dating app. She's an actress. She also has her own dating podcast. Heather, thank you so much for hopping on. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> of course. Heather, real quick, could you give us a, a quick origin story? Who are you? What do you do? Where are you from? Uh, what do you love? Sure. So my name is Heather Hopkins. I am from Los Angeles. Well, actually, I'm from Orange County originally, but I live in Los Angeles now. Um, my background, as you said, is in acting. So I grew up in TV and film. I started at 14 in the downtime of acting. I decided I'll start a I'll start a podcast all about dating. And in that, um, I you know, took my listeners through my horrible LA dating life. They were listening to me and me, you know, I was using all the apps, I was going on all these dates, and sometimes, you know, people were following along these moments <laughs> she, where I would, she just had her hand on her head like, oh, oh yeah, no. it's just like don't even make me relive them. <laughs> but um, you know. I, I would get, I would text with the, I would meet these guys on dating apps. I'd talk with them for a while. We'd get to meeting. And within the first five minutes, I would go, oh no. <laughs> and so yeah. that kept happening. And my listeners were like, oh my God, that happens to me too. And so then I made it a rule to FaceTime with guys before ever agreeing to go to that date. Makes and sense. it changed everything. And so that's where Grace came to be. Was this before COVID? Because I think now everybody oh FaceTimes on dates. <laughs> that's like required. So, yeah, so a lot of people think that Grace, they think I just whipped out an app and like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we actually came out two days before the pandemic. So we did not wow. come out because of the pandemic. I've been building What a time to come out. Years. Yeah, no, it was a long time before that. <laughs> wow, and you said you've been building that for years, which makes sense because yes. we're, we're going to get into that app. I mean, it's a very competitive space. It's a very competitive space, but I'm not afraid. Oh, I like that. Um, I mean, well, she has the dating podcast. If she scales the podcast, then simultaneously the app's also going to scale. That yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Now, Heather, we, me and Frank here, we're we're like hopeless romantics. I mean, we're we're <laughs> so deep into our shit trying to build something from scratch that, and, and we travel all over the world wherever we can go. We're there. I don't know if the timing's right. Are, are you currently in a relationship or single? You know, ironically, I was building grades for myself. And then, of course, in the midst of building, I was single for you six found. years and I met my boyfriend. On grades or? No, I wish that was the story. No, I met that him in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I met him in my story. last acting class. I was like, I, I'm, you know, I have to focus my business. I already signed up for this thing. I'm like, I'm not going. My mom's like, Heather, you already paid. You need to go. And that's where I met my boyfriend. That is too funny. It's hilarious yeah. that you said you created the app for yourself almost. I did, I was so frustrated. I was like, why isn't it normal to, you know, like I don't wanna waste my time texting people because that's the behavior mm. on all these other apps. You have to like text with someone for a while and then you can like meet. And so I was like, I just wanna, you know, we have phones, like let's just meet right away, see if we got the spark. And if we do, then let's message. But otherwise, I don't wanna waste my time. And I mean, so makes sense. I want it for myself. So, <laughs> so, so does that mean on Grays, it's yeah. required to right. FaceTime before anything? That's exactly it, Frank. So that's what's different. I was yeah. wondering what was different from like the popular ones like Tinder, yeah. like Bumble yeah. and Hinge. So we actually, we, after you match, you will go on a five minute video chat. And then once you determine that there's chemistry, then you can message or wow. unmatch them, whatever you want to do. <laughs> but yeah, that's required. So you'll meet face to face first with your match. Now, Heather, are you doing any marketing right now to help, you know, kind of blast that app out? Yeah, we actually just, um, you know, we, we were under another name for a while. And then we just rebranded on, on Saturday, the relaunch happened. Um, so we've done, well, we're, we're being crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm already kind of like, I like to live life on the edge. Like, let's get a little crazy. Well, I see you excited. <laughs> yeah. So we, I mean. <laughs> we had, I mean, we had planes going all around this past weekend. We had like, 
if you go all over LA, you're gonna see like big banners on the sides of buildings. We have 30 different locations for that right now. We have, I mean, I was out last weekend with the team throwing up posters all over all the beach areas, all over the city. We're, we have stickers on the floor when you look down. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> That actually makes sense because I was wondering, I'm like, how do you scale that nationwide? But obviously you have to go local and expand outwards. Yeah. So, so I think the crazy thing for us is, like I said, we launched two days before the pandemic. So yeah, um, what happened was, is video dating, I thought was going to be this like challenge to get people to do. But then literally it within a week, it, it, yeah, it became the only way people could date. And that was always what we, we were we're the video dating app. So people were finding us from all over the United States. And so we were seeing people connecting in all different parts of the US. And they were doing like long, I mean, they would meet, they would make their, they were fine with meeting someone in New York, even though they were in LA. And so we kind of saw our user base go scattered. And now we're really getting back to focusing on this LA area. Um, so you're gonna see a lot more users in LA, but, but that was kind of what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I love how happy you are. Like you are so passionate about this particular project. That's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. I mean, it's, <laughs> uh, that's your passion, it seems. You guys are my. You guys are my seventh thing today. My seventh time we have to talk about it today. So I, I tell that's you, entrepreneurship. When, when you yes, <laughs> that, that, one. I said it off air. Nobody has responded as quick as you, and was wow. immediately <laughs> yes, I'm down. You didn't ask who we were, where we're from, how big our show is. You didn't ask any of those questions and you know the power of just exposure. Yeah, well also I think for me, I love people. And that's really at the core of Grays is that I have a love for people. I, one of the most beautiful things about Grays is that you get to meet so many new people and you get to actually form genuine connections. Um, and that's something that you're missing with all the others is like, you know, it's so much better to, to laugh together versus just sending laughing emojis. You know, it's just like, it's a game changer. It's a good point. I mean, it's actually funny because I, I wonder sometimes, I personally don't use dating apps. Um, yeah. It just, it, it just seems too much. Uh, even if you do talk to someone, I'd hardly meet up with them because of a lack of communication. There's no connection, <laughs> no spark. So I, I yeah. just kind of leave it. And then let me ask you this, because because I, I bitch about this to Frank all the time. I'll hook up <laughs> with girls just randomly, and then I notice they won't respond to my texts. They won't reach out, although I felt the connection. But they'll watch me nonstop on my stories. I'm confused. I mean, girls are mysterious. <laughs> I may, there may not be an answer to that one, I'll my tell friend. You, I mean. I mean, I hear that I hear that same story from both sides. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I mean, girls will say, "Got like, you know, there's all these different terms for guys who do that. It's called breadcrumbing." If you're <laughs> unfamiliar with I'm what the, 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 yeah, you get breadcrumbs. So basically, breadcrumbing is where they lead you on. They just leave like you little crumbs, and so they'll That's watch your story. Great. They might respond to a story. They might flirt for it, and then they'll be like gone. And then you'll get another breadcrumb. So you're still following. <laughs> you're still, oh. but. Yeah, like you got breadcrumbs. You you answered my you question. Got, <laughs> you got breadcrumbs right crumb. now, right now, and I'm like, damn, <laughs> you seem so. You awesome, can just respond right? back, okay, breadcrumb. <laughs> <laughs> she probably won't. She'll leave me on red for sure. <laughs> yeah, for or she'll sure. think you're really cool for knowing that. You, <laughs> I I I may do it. I may do it, and then get to the outcome. <laughs> Frank, what do you think? Yeah, let me know. I mean, I would certainly do it. I mean, we thought maybe Heather was going to give us the advice of just how to well, get into the perspective to crack to the code, crack the code to be in the perfect relationship. Uh, but you know, she just told I me mean, I got breadcrumbs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you beat. I think the statement, the the classic statement, if he likes you, you'll know. If he doesn't, you'll be confused. It works the other way. So yeah. if she likes you, you'll know. If if she doesn't, you'll be confused. So like, she doesn't probably. Um, but I mean, like, oh, that is <laughs> well, great. If you're confused, she don't like you. If I mean, oh, if you like facts. someone, would you ever leave them confused? No, no, I'm, but but exactly. But that's, so, where, that's where I think us three, though, have person like me and Frank are sales salesmen nine to five, and then 
we do a bunch of ventures outside of work. Same thing with you is we have a certain type of personality where we seem very transparent and outspoken. So yeah, I feel like we're a different type of variable than the average person. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why I, I mean, like I, I, my problem was that I was really bad at texting always, you know, I would respond, I'd be in the middle of something. So I'm like, okay. And then it's like, are you mad at me? I'm like, wait, no, I just said, okay. Like, why is this turning? Into- <laughs> why am I and that's why I love, day? like, that's why it's so important to me to have that like actual contact with the person because nothing gets mis like nothing gets misread. You know, you meet someone, you, you get to know their personality so that then when you guys are messaging and they say, okay, you're like, oh, that's because, you know, it's Heather. You know, you get, you get who yeah, the person is. Of course. For. Well, I think the major flaw in our generation almost is the context behind text, right? Oh, yeah. Huge misinterpretation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, so um, you, I was just going back to you saying how you're a bad texter. Um, in my opinion, or at least <laughs> in my, um, I guess my experiences, I've always thought that that was an excuse, but I, you're very transparent. You would have no reason to lie on Build Your Empire, and I believe you. So I guess that's, that could be a real thing. Okay, so, so with that, I think, I think look at the patterns. Okay, mm. here's what I'd said. If you notice a person replies to all their friends, does all that, but then doesn't reply to you, yeah, they're, they're saying they're a bad texter, but they're not. If you're a person like me where I, I really honestly try, if I'm with people, I try not to be on my phone. I like really try to be present in the moment. I put my phone on do not disturb a lot. I genuinely am a bad texter to my friends. Ask my best friends. They're like, oh yeah, Heather, you gotta, you gotta ring her three times and then she'll finally get, like, <laughs> that's just, and they know to bug me, like they know that's how I am. So I think um, kind of gauge who, how the person is and then determine if it's, a, if it's an excuse or if they actually are. They I do exist. If they, wanna, if they want to contact you and you respond quick, just bring up business. This girl was like three, <laughs> yeah. three minutes like, yeah, I'm down. That is so true. I am crazy about my email. Like anything business, I'm right there. Heather, I have never, we, we have, I think, 74 shows we recorded. Um, we've had some pretty high-end guests on the show as well. <laughs> I've never had anyone be like, give me a meeting in Outlook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we- guys, I have my life run by my, my calendar. Like, I, like, book, if I have to, like, go to the store, I have everything in my calendar at all times because my Calendly link is out there. And so people will just book a time with me and then I'll already have, like, I have to put everything in my calendar. So how do you, I guess, create time for, for your boyfriend? Uh, is, that, <laughs> is that spoken about? Is, or do you just throw your phone away and give him the time? Yeah. So, I mean, we just kind of make it work. I, he knows that I'm in a stage in my life where it's like, I'm, I'm young. I'm, I'm going after something I'm very passionate about. Very big work. Um, he's very understanding. He's very supportive. I think, you know, when you're with someone who's supportive, it's not, you know, we make time for each other. We just, it's hard though. You know, it's definitely like something that comes up a lot where it's like, oh, we didn't get to spend enough quality time together. And, you know, we'll, we'll talk through it and we'll figure out a way to do better. Like it's, it's just kind of a always moving around type thing. I mean, that's an answer I expect from uh, from Heather, who's got a dating a app and a hustler. Yeah, yeah. She's just straight yeah. hustles. She's like, look, we 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 try. Uh, he, it's not. There's nothing more I can do. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, that is true. Like sometimes we'll like have days where I like won't see him, and mm. and we're just like, hey, it's you know we're young and getting it. Like young we can spend time. Yes, you know? yes, ma'am. That's yes, just ma'am. the way it is. Now, let me ask you this. You, you know, you were an actress. Do you still try and get gigs? You live in West Hollywood. You, you're in <laughs> LA. Yeah. Um, no, I'm really focused on what I'm doing right now. Um, Love to hear I, yeah. I, you know, I can all, acting will always, I, I fully believe that everyone can have many loves. And for me, acting is 100% something that I love, but I can always do that. And I have an opportunity right in front of me that I'm so passionate about and I can see changing people's lives. And is just such an, it's so much bigger to me um, than my acting career right now. 
So Inspiring. it is, it is, man. I almost want to download the app and like find uh, love right get now. Get on there. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm telling you right now, I am going to download the app and check it out. <laughs> um, I got two new users. I'll, awesome. You, you, you do. You do. I hope I find my love there. She probably knew this was going to happen and coming on. It, it makes sense. Look, because that's why I responded so fast. I wanted to get you so guys on. Fast. <laughs> you got two quick users real quick. And, and we're, we're hopeless here. I'm getting to an age where I'm like, damn it. I don't know if I'm, if I even want to get married no more. I mean, like, I, I also have never been the type to like, I don't believe you should go into love or go into dating being like, I want a girlfriend or like, I want this. Like, really, you should my theory on Grays and why Grays has a much different theory than any other platform really is I don't believe that you can find the perfect person by some algorithm or filling out some survey. Like if it was that easy, then we would all be standing by that person, right? No, it's about putting yourself out there, meeting lots of people. It's a numbers game. So that's what Grays around, meet lots of people and you're going to find someone. Yeah, because on the, I mean, on she the said, graze around, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> graze around. Is that, that's is that, great. Great. does that pop up on the app when you, when you uh, open it? Well, yeah, it's, you, instead of like browsing through people, you graze, graze around. People. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you're on uh, <laughs> iPhone and uh, Android? Yeah, we're on both. All right. Now, did you have, obviously, you had to uh, get like people to create the app right I mean, yeah you had to outsource that work that's that's yeah. incredibly hard to code and, and create that yeah i did not do it myself <laughs> I, yeah unless uh, who knows i i want to one day get i want to learn how to code though that's a goal it's on my bucket list in life i will learn how to code one day does that worry you though that in a way you outsourced such a pivotal piece of the overall business no, because they're a team member and um, they do have some equity in the company. So, oh, that's um, yeah, they're <laughs> you have great answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think like that's you, the way you're to do so it. So on point. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have. I mean, a two-part question. Well, first one's okay. going to be yes right. or Go no. Um, does does giving dating advice all the time bother you? No. Okay. She's hitch. Like what did i do your hitch I said, I said you're a hitch but the female version oh i don't even know what that is uh, oh that's will smith he yeah, he's yeah, uh he's like that. a he's a professional love uh connector oh <laughs> yeah oh, no i i that. honestly i love giving advice i've always been that friend um uh -huh. so so okay no so then real quick so what are three things a guy should do before and after a first date. Let me get my pen. Let me get my pen. <laughs> you guys got this straight from my Instagram. Um, <laughs> that uh, is hilarious. So <laughs> just posted a video talking Yo, about that. I, saw I, that. I don't even know where my notes are on this. I, um, okay, so number one. I got my pen. Was, what a lazy uh, okay, guy you things. are. You just went on her Instagram to get a question. <laughs> You did. <laughs> I will. All right. To, to be fair, though, I waited to this moment to hear your answer. Okay. Here we go. Here's and it was a two part. <laughs> so always make solid plans. None of the, no loosey goosey. Okay. Let's chill. Like make a solid plan. Number two, follow up to confirm the date the morning of. The worst is when the girl's waiting around for your text and she's just going to assume that it's not happening anymore. Um, so you're probably like just going to get. Yeah, you got to confirm it the morning up. And number three, <laughs> um, watch that she gets into the door all the way, that she's in safely when you drop her off. Because my biggest pet peeve is when you look back and the guy has like zoomed off and you're like, what? You know, it's, it just shows like that you care that she got in safe. It's so easy and it's, it's really So meaningful. Heather, my for, I've only had two girlfriends in my lifetime, both long yeah. term. It was like four and five years. And the first wow. girlfriend I had, I was like 18 years old. And I did exactly that. I dropped her off and zoomed off. And I heard about that. Like, Oof. oh, oh, man, that's a mistake. Any guys listening, please do not do that. So you learned that from experience. And I feel like yeah. I, I, I learned that from, from Mama Dukes. Good. See, I feel like it's, it's, it's not a known hey, tip. And it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, that's something I certainly always do. I don't know. I. I try and be chivalrous. Good. You should yeah. be. 
Do you guys pay for dates? Do we pay for dates? First dates? Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah, money's not a thing. I mean, whoever I'm dating, <laughs> I, I'll do whatever. She she don't have to worry about money at all. Yeah, as in <laughs> as in not not to be cocky. As in that's just something we'll take. You know, take care yeah, of that because if you're you taking sh- her out, trying you to have should a nice pay time, for the first date. I agree. I have had though twice in my life where the girl like and completely insisted, no, I'm paying. I've seen, I've been hearing about that a lot lately. Like, and the guy's like, whoa, like, like it's, I it's, was pushed back. It's I almost was... like you're freaked out to like, oh my God, is this like a, and if you know, deny yeah. it, they get a little mad. Yeah. That's a, that's a very weird thing. I mean, the way I, the way I talk about it on my podcast, I'm like, Hey, listen, we have to push out babies and get monthly visits. The least a guy can do is pay for a date every once in a while. I mean, come on. Let's, I mean, guys will complain about it. I'm like, okay, do you want to trade? <laughs> so I'll pay. that's I'll how pay. I feel about that. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. You pay. You pay. I'll take where I'm at. I'll take Treat a I'm girl at. every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I completely agree with that. I mean, <laughs> so you don't have to give three, but I'm curious, after the first date, what's one thing I, you should be doing? After communication. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That's the most important. I think, thing. you know, you know, I, there's this rule <laughs> that I hate. I hate any rules like this, by the way. Anything that's like, wait a week to text them, wait, yeah. you know, do whatever is you. Like, if you're like giddy and you want to tell the guy after the date, like, like, ah, like that was so fun. That made me so happy. Wouldn't, don't you guys love that? Like, of course. But yeah, absolutely. Like, I also, I also why are we, I why are we that canceling too. that feeling? But you should absolutely be able to do that. Like, that is a great thing. And I don't know why there's those rules that are like, play hard to get. I mean, don't do that. That's like, I've been hearing, you know, especially when a guy makes these solid plans, he, you know, really treats you. And then the girl doesn't text back for like a week. I mean, how you would never do that to a friend. Like if a friend went out of their way to do this Mm -hmm. nice stuff and you just like, "Eh." Like, that's so weird. That's so rude. Yeah, but Heather, that's what's interesting, right? Is that those pseudo rules that you just kind of named that aren't spoken, they're almost conditioned in society. So it's almost like no matter what, you're going to get those results. I mean, I'm trying to turn that around. (laughs) I see that. And I believe it. That's why I'm taking all the BS out of it. I'm like, I just don't, I never have liked any of those things. I don't get it. Like, that's just like canceling yourself out to like having a really giddy moment between the two of you. Like, why would you do that? I mean, because it seems like people have turned dating into a game, uh, at oh, least this generation, absolutely. this generation, at least. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why, you know, what we're doing is so important. Like, we're really bringing a human back to it. You know, just like, that's why we say we're the app for people who hate dating apps, because it's so, it's so much more like real life. You know, you see the person, you're like, oh, like, it's like you see someone at a, grocery store and you're like oh my gosh they look cute you walk up you see if you you know you talk for a little bit see if you have it and you exchange numbers and meet like that's how our process is but uses technology and i i, I mean i personally like the idea if i'm gonna match with someone mm-hmm. it would be cool to straight up just be face to face with them and see right. like hey is there a connection here let's let's meet in person right yeah. and the thing is that everyone that gets on grays that's how they know they're gonna have to date so there's no like Oh, is this going to be weird? You know, like everyone gets on there because they know it's uh, going to be You're more comfortable right off the bat. You see yeah. each other. There's no um, catfishing going on. That's for sure. That's no, for sure. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And actually at the bottom of our profiles, there's a three second video. It's, it's optional, but you just can say, hi, my name is Heather. So that you know when you actually call them that they are the person in the photos. Uh, kind of like uh, credibility. Yeah, exactly. It's called the catfish catcher. <laughs> that's great oh, that's great no. she's got answers for everything yeah. she is so on point I'm, I'm so I'm, happy to have her yeah yeah it's definitely uh thank you for coming on but if you, I, it just seems if you speak about this app to anyone you could certainly get them on if this sell the shit out of it because you are doing a great <laughs> job right now <laughs> well thanks i'll, I'll, I'll at least get two new people on it <laughs> you you uh yeah I well, mean, yeah. Come, yeah. everyone I'll listening get, get on there so you can date for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> at. also what's the name of your podcast the hookup yeah my the name of my podcast is called the hookup with heather hopkins and how do you enjoy that endeavor i i mean it's our it's it's what brought me into this i love it <laughs> um i i give dating advice it's great 
I mean, I'm sure there's ton you could have so many stories and so much content regarding that subject that it's got to be Oh yeah. I got I got to give it a list to myself. Oh, yeah, certainly. you got it. There's a lot to learn on there. Um We sure. have we have panels of girls who give their unfiltered opinions. I mean, we 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 go through it. <laughs> well, I mean, unfiltered is call her daddy. Are you familiar? Okay. Well, yeah. I <laughs> oh. I like to say my show my, I am familiar. My show is definitely like my little cousin listens to. It's not, it's not on the know. same. It's Family called show. The Hookup, but it's because it's, it's hooking up with millennial dating advice, not because it's hooking you up like anything else. So <laughs> I, I love that you stated that because the way I distribute content, I think of the same thing. I mean, you have, you know, eyes on you, children. So you, you got to be a yeah. robot. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I, I, my podcast is is clean. <laughs> I don't even cuss. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even cuss. cuss. <laughs> now, and it's not. I have nothing wrong with that. I just. My mom, when I was very young, she sat me down. She said it would break me and your grandma's heart if you ever cussed. And so I just like. I feel like I would hurt her if I. <laughs> so I just never did. She never cusses, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> now, Heather, what is uh? Do you have you know? two, five, 10 year plans on this? Uh, do you have a, a precise strategy on how you're moving? Cause it sure sounds like it. Yeah. So, you know, the, the goal is to change the way that people connect. Um, and that's our patent is, is video first technology. So um, you actually connect matching mutually and then connecting via video first. Um, and then after having the capability to, to further that connection. So we hope to bring that into, you know, there's so many other sectors that could apply to you. Maybe you want to meet other entrepreneurs in the area. Um, maybe you want to meet, um, you want to use it to meet other friends in the area. I know there's so much ways to grow because we are just a very simple, you know, our process is very simple. We're just doing it. We're just, we just have a new process that can be applied to different areas beyond. Well, meeting. it certainly makes sense on what you believe in and why you believe in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at first, uh, you know, when you hear someone's making a dating app, I, you know, you're like, well, there's so many out there. And yeah. then you tell us that you have to video first. And to be honest, that just sounds it's a game. It, just, it sounds right. Yeah. It sounds like how it should be, because I mean, when you're messaging, people don't answer. You're just like, eh, they're not answering. It's nothing. And I don't know. It just kind of goes away. You could swipe and swipe and swipe on Tinder and Bumble and never speak to anyone. When you, the, the eyes and the yeah. mouth just don't lie like, like that. Anyway. And it's just like, then you have to come with like what to say back and forth. And then mm -hmm. there's that whole thing. And then there's, it's just like, like I said, from the start, just laughing together is just a trillion times better than sending emojis. And also then when you tell people like we have, we have users who they'll meet on, on grades and they'll screenshot their first date. And then they have that now as like showing instead of like, Oh yeah, this is us. We sent hi winky. And then he sent hi winky back. And that was how it's <laughs> like, you know, we have, we have those beautiful moments. We actually see them like laughing on a date. So. And I, I love how you said send emojis. I started sending uh, a digital oh, rose. And then when they leave me on red, I send them the dead rose. <laughs> the dead rose. Yeah, because when conversation's over, communication oh died, I, 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 I segment my way where I could then send you a dead okay, rose. Okay, well, I'm going to give you a tip right now. I Please. remember being on apps and just getting emo an emoji sent to me, and that was about the most annoying thing ever. So Never just like, it. yeah, at worked. least it's not even words. So you should like at least say something, but then it's just annoying coming up with that something. So just get on Grace. That's funny. That's I funny. will get on Grace. Frank G, do you, do you have any other? She is awesome. She is so passionate, so high energy. Really passionate. She was great to have on the show. Heather, I can't even thank you enough. Um, you certainly have two new users. We're going to try and spread the word on your behalf, <laughs> especially on your podcast. Awesome. Um, you were a phenomenal personality to have on. Uh, Frank, you have any other questions, man? I mean, just one quick question. I mean, it seems like you're passionate about like love and connections. Uh, yeah. Someone who has given up on dating, what would you tell them? Something like they're just completely us? done. <laughs> what would you tell them? I mean, us? <laughs> gosh, I would say don't give up hope, you know. Give Grace a try. Yeah, give Grace a try. Grace on. Grace um, on. <laughs> but, you know, don't give up hope. Like, if you. I know it's hard out there. Like it's really hard. I get it, but you have to, you have to try to at least look at the beauty in it and look at the beauty in people. And cause once you lose that, then 
I don't know. It's just the best thing to do is really not to look at dating as like, I need to find someone, but rather mm. like, I want to meet new people. And I think by having that outlook bet more, you're going to make connections with other people because it also takes away that pressure. Yeah, um, And it just puts it. you in more of an open space and more in a space of like, I'm happy with myself. I'm not looking to like, for someone to like answer my problems. I'm just looking to meet new people and we'll see where it takes me. Wonderful and answer. Yeah, you, you truly have an amazing answer for every question, everything we came <laughs> back to. I guess uh, for anyone listening in, in your, I guess, network, you uh, <laughs> being the seventh slot is probably the best slot. You're, you're well prepared. What do you mean the seventh slot? You yeah. said you had like seven other meetings. Oh, yes, you are the seventh slot. <laughs> yeah, so you came in here, you're, you're like well prepared, ready to rock. Yeah. I mean, I just started taking some new vitamins. I think they gave me some energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Heather, again, we can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for having Yeah, thanks so much, guys. It was fun. Show. It was um, a good laugh to cap out the day. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. Love it. Again, thank you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, go follow Heather Hopkins and download the Grace app. Keep on grazing. Yep. Graze on.